Hey guys, so first of all, how did you like my new intro? I mean, real YouTuber now because I have an intro, but my daughter did that. She edited it. She produced it. She put the music behind it. She did a fabulous job. She is actually starting her college career pretty early, so I'm blessed and lucky for that. So, um, And also, today is my son's 16th birthday. I know I still look 21. I know. Anyway. So, I am very, 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 very excited. In the next few days, I am going to be a part of a creative mixer. Um, a couple of local business owners here put this on. It is basically a huge photo shoot that you collab with people on. So there'll be models, makeup artists, hairstylists, uh, fashion designers, photographers, videographers, all of us together in one big room collabing together and hopefully coming up with some beautiful images. I am very excited about that. I don't think there has been anything like that in our area. So I'm just really excited to be part of that. Also, um, they're going to have a vendor fair. So um, a lot of small business owners, um, they can come and sell their goods. So I'm excited about that and meet new people and network. Um, if you watched my other video um, about business uh, advice, I will tell you that networking is very important um, as part of your business growth. Um, I will be part of the vendor fair also in a as a small role in that, and I'll kind of show you some of the pieces that I will have for sale there. And I am just excited. So I will be in the next couple of days just gathering all the stuff that I need and packing stuff up so hopefully I don't forget anything and I'm going to take you guys along on that. So like I said part of the event is a vendor fair where a lot of small business owners get to come and sell their goods and so I'm kind of going to be a part of that. A few months ago I decided to start a collection of some of my photography so I've taken some images that I thought could be art worthy and create some really unique products with it. Um, I have called that Creative Vision Collection, collection with a K, of course. And so some of the things that I am going to be selling are like journals. Um, I have some tablets, some like notebook, spiral notebook tablets. I have some t-shirts, which is why I bought the heat press to begin with. Um, some small button pins, things like that. Um, I, think, I think I have a compact mirror. So that kind of stuff that I'll be selling and it's all original pieces. Original meaning I took the photo, I collabed with model, a model and a makeup artist. I edited it, I put it in Photoshop, I made it as graphic art and I've gotten it all printed on things that I feel is art worthy. So I will show you what I have. So for instance, this is a journal. Isn't it beautiful? I just really, really love this. This is one of my favorite pieces. Um, this is from a photo that I took. Um, I collabed with this model and a makeup artist. Her name is Kayla Renee. And we did a glam photo shoot. And this photo came out and I thought, yes, it has to go on something. So I put this on a journal. It's a beautiful journal, hardback book, journal, and that's one item. Here's another item that from that same photo shoot, same model. This is a compact mirror. I thought that would be like a pretty nice signature piece there. Love it, love it, love it. I also have a um, spiral notebook that you could throw in your purse, put on, put down your grocery list or whatever. Uh, this is from another photo shoot I did. Same model, same makeup artist. Um, just different photo shoot, but this is a t-shirt and that's the reason why I have a heat press to make t-shirts. So, uh, hopefully you guys kind of get the idea of what I have going on. Um, yeah, it's just a collection of my photography that I feel could be, you know, that is art worthy enough to share with people in different ways. So, I will be selling some items, won't be a lot during the vendor fair since I'll be actually part of the creative um, collab mixer, but I did want some stuff out there. So yeah, just getting ready for all that. And 
I'm excited. Okay, so I got all the t-shirts made and all of the items that I need um, for the vendor fair for Saturday. Um, it is 12.30 at night right now. I'm really, really tired, but I pushed through. I got it done, so I'm in good shape to be ready by Saturday with everything. I had a full day today. I worked all day. I went to my son's baseball game. I got all of this stuff ready for the vendor fair. Now I am getting ready to eat a bowl of cereal or something. I'm hungry and I'm tired. So I'm um, getting ready to sign off, get ready for work for the morning, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace. So I have my lightings. That's my Godox Octagon softbox. I have my continuous lights here that I'm taking. I have a beauty dish I'm also taking with me. I have a TV, so I'm going to be tethering um, while I am taking photos. I'm basically showing the models the photos that I'm taking as I'm taking them. That way they can get a little bit of instant feedback there. I have a reflector light. I have some backdrops, my clamps, my batteries, etc., etc., etc. So, yeah, I'm just going to be packing all this stuff right now. Okay, guys, I got the car all packed up, ready to go. I think I have probably packed about eight color backdrops. And I know that's probably way too much, but I wanted to bring everything and anything that I could because I didn't want to forget anything. I don't know what to expect. So I just want to be ready. So if I don't need it, I'll just keep it in the car. Anyway, we are about ready to go. And we're getting ready to head on over there now and start um, setting up and I can't wait to meet everybody and get creative. So I will see you guys later. every day but like I like the fact that you can be yourself and you can be somebody else at the same time um, I guess my goal with modeling I would love to get paid for it I would love to do like gigs on the weekends and make some decent amount of money maybe work for a company work for a fashion designer I would love to run the runway in like some really amazing crazy clothes that's why I'm so happy to be at the creative mixer because the person I'm working with they have platform shoes I love weird stuff and it's super weird and I'm just so excited so thank you guys for this interview Hi, my name is Darren Smith from Smith Photography Inc. Just enjoy doing photography. Looking forward to working with you and especially you. I'm locally based here in Champaign, Illinois. I've been doing photography on a serious tip for about uh, six, seven, eight years now. I uh, love what I do. My start was in the church where I uh, was taking pictures there and then gravitated on out when other people was like, your, look, your work looks pretty good. I want to see if you can bring it out to, uh, to, to the public. And I said, sure. Uh, upgraded my cameras, kept moving on up, and so I have what I have now. Uh, it's been a blessing along the way. Uh, but again, love to take pictures. Um, that's what I do, that's my heart, that's my soul. So if you're interested, come see Darren Smith at Smith Photography Inc. Uh, and I'll be there for to capture all your moments. Hi, my name is Dorian. I am the owner of FashionVictim.us. It is an online boutique. Uh, I specialize in black 
anything black. <laughs> um, oh, I want to network. I want to meet a lot of people. Uh, I want to show off my brand. Um, it is really hard when you're not from here and you don't know a lot of people uh, to actually put yourself out there in regards to um, gaining customers unless you have like a storefront. So since my store is online, um, word of mouth works a lot for me being as though I'm not from here. So hopefully people will see my clothes, they'll see me, they'll ask questions and then I will be able to gain maybe a customer, maybe a friend. You never know. And then where do you see yourself? What are your goals? Oh my gosh. Um, I don't want to work no more. <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, I want to be as big as Nasty Gal. I want, I want um, there to be a platform for alternative black girls, if you will, uh, that sometimes get side-eyed about their clothes or their fashion choice or they get called gothic or dominatrix or whatever, because I get called that kind of stuff all the time. Um, hopefully I can touch a lot of them and they all be able to come out and look good as hell and they all black. And um, yeah, I just want to touch a lot of black, a lot of black females who like to wear black and who enjoy being in black, pretty much, basically. <laughs> My name is Miss Sequita, and I'm from Chicago, but um, I reside here in Urbana. I've been here for about um, five years. Um, I'm the owner and a stylist at Urbana Hair Lounge, and I've been doing hair professionally here for about five years. <laughs> I am Ashley Rochella from the Beauty Bar. And so we decided to have a creative mixer and a vendor fair. So we started this like maybe like a month ago. Yeah. And we just got the idea because we go to a lot of um, networking events that's similar to this, but it doesn't have as much. So the purpose of it is to go to it to, you know, mix and mingle with people in your industry. And being in Champagne, you don't really have that many opportunities like this. So we wanted to bring that same event here. So most of all of the vendors are people that I've never met. And it's exciting because everybody's from the area and I had no idea that it was so much, so many small businesses out here, especially so many black owned small businesses, which is even more important. So um, I wrote a post on Facebook and I just was trying to see small businesses in the area because they knew I was having a vendor fair and people just started contacting me, contacting me, wanting to be a part of it and it turned into this. We have over 35 participants. So we have about maybe like 20 artists and about 15 to 16 small businesses. So yeah, you know, it started off as a little something, but the way that people are reacting and the way that people are you know, responding to it, I think that it'll be something that it may be an annual thing. Mm -hmm. You know, give those businesses the opportunity to put themselves out there. The beauty bar, the beauty bar is the place to be. <laughs> so we are located 1722 West Bradley. We have a hair extension line also. We have a store that's within our salon called Kaki Collection Virgin Hair Extensions. And you can come there, you can get um, installs, you can buy your hair extensions, but we also do other things. We specialize in natural hair um, and braids and all of those things. So, the beauty bar, come check us out.
pop your hip. Your hip. Let's like try. Yes. One, two, three. There you go. One more. Okay, so the creative mixer is all done. It's a wrap. As you can tell, my head is a hot mess. I've been sweating, so. But anyway, it was a success. It was great. It was wonderful. It was everything that I wished for. It was well organized. I got to meet a lot of brand new people that I have never, ever met before in my community that are creatives just like me. We all came together for one huge photo shoot, uh, working together, and it was great. So hopefully you guys um, watch this video and learn something or get inspired. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Right now it is 2 o'clock in the morning and my feet are on fire from being up, standing on them for hours. But... So, I'm getting ready to go to bed. Good night. Follow my Instagram for the results at Creative Vision Photography. Mm -hmm.